This presentation is to show the navigation features of the variables column on the key to evaporator efficiency controller. To get to the variables column, you do not need a password for this application. So basically, what I would do first is press the back button a couple of times to make sure that you are at the home spot or starting spot of the room temperature display. At that point, I would navigate either with the left or the right arrow keys to go to the top of the variables column heading, which in this case, in all cases, should be RMTP. Once you see the RMTP, you're at the top of the variables column. And again, you can scroll up and down now through that entire column without needing a password to get in to see any of these particular features. There is a variety of things you can look at, including the room temperature, superheat, pressure transducer readout, if you have a pressure transducer readout, pressure transducer connected I should say, temperature of the suction line, again if I have the temperature of the suction line attached, the coil temperature sensor reading, the mode that the controller is in, in this case the refrigeration mode. You can also see the relays uh, condition, the relay of the, uh, the fan, the relay of the defrost heater, relay the compressor de uh, relay, again in the on mode obviously if we're in the refrigeration mode. <clears throat> you can also see I the IP address of the controller in this application. It's broken into four parts, IPQ1, 2, 3, and 4. So you have it in four different segments. Once you're through viewing the, uh, the readings that you need to see, you just basically push the back button and you get back to the, your home spot which is the room temperature readout and the controller will work the entire time as far as its mode. You don't affect the mode that you're in while you're in there just reading the display. If you have any questions please call Key to Therm.